A day out for errands ended up with a trip to the hospital. A 17-month-old left lifeless, not breathing, and then rushed to UC Davis Medical Center. The only answer as to why? Fentanyl. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live for us outside UC Davis with his family's warning for others, Madison. Yeah, Tony, I mean, that was just a typical day running errands at a local store, and it ended with 48 hours spent here at UC Davis Medical Center in the PICU, uh, something the family says they want other families and parents to be aware of, that it can happen in any place at any time. And you don't think that you're going to walk in, try on some suits, and leave with your baby not being able to breathe. This 17-month-old little boy lives in Natomas, but spent the last 48 hours in the PICU, intubated on a ventilator. His mom shared these photos with us as a warning of what she says was a random encounter with trace amounts of fentanyl at a Natomas store. A close family friend passed on their message. He started like lolling his head side to side um, and then his lips turned blue. So she picked him up and in her arms he stopped breathing. The boy's mother said she was in a local dressing room with her 17 month old in tow. He took a tumble and shortly after, the signs of an overdose. Does she have an idea that this might be fentanyl or does she find that out later? She thought it might be a seizure at first uh, because I mean, he was perfect, like truly just perfect baby. And then all of a sudden he's not. The family says the toxicology report revealed the only thing in his system, fentanyl. The question, can fentanyl be absorbed through the skin or by touching an item or surface where it is present? The answer from UC Davis Health, it's a myth. You can't overdose by touching fentanyl, which means the 17 month old walking for the first time yesterday since the near death experience must have ingested the fentanyl. Blue lips, slowed, then stopped breathing, drowsy. All signs UC Davis health experts say come from the synthetic opioid that's strong and potent. Now, their warning is just to be aware of your surroundings here. The good news is that 17-month-old walked out of the hospital here just a couple hours ago. The family say he's going to make a full recovery, which they say is a miracle simply because of how long he was without oxygen. They said that those first responders came to that store quickly. We've reached out for a statement and will, of course, update to the public as we know more. Wow, how scary and unexpected. Yeah. yeah glad that little one's going to be okay. Madison, thank you.